Okay. All right. There's been a few people doing um, mentioning the idea of last Christmas. This bit maybe being the last Christmas. Okay. And the Wham song "Last Christmas" um, with George Michael, Andrew. What the hell is his name? Ridgely or whatever the hell his name is. Who can remember his name? Um, but the George Michael reference is quite kind of interesting. And I just wanted to show you in the actual music video for the song, I believe there is a 9-11 reference. <laughs> okay. So th I think this is Andrew walking in with a Christmas pudding. Okay. So we've got the, obviously the, I mean the whole song last Christmas, but we've got the Christmas pudding here. The dome. And sticking out of the dome, I believe there's three sparklers. All sparkling here so like the three towers that would have been on fire okay note the twin towers over here as well with these two candles and then note the um the clock at 1005 because if you go from 911 and you go 105 days if i'm getting my numbers right here uh, 105 days from 9-11 will take you to Christmas, okay? So again, as pointed out by other people, um, George Michael, obviously his birthday and his, and his death day, obviously his death day is Christmas, and his birthday is the 25th of um, June, which happens to almost coincide with the obviously the 24th of June is uh, John the Baptist's feast and again that is a basically just the Christmas version the Christmas version the summer version of Christmas winter Christmas okay so it's the you know the opposite side of the year if you like um, and that's the the sort of opposite Jesus thing you know is John the Baptist and what else do I want to say about that coincidentally I believe that was the date that Madonna went into ICU for her little maybe a partial death rebirth ritual thing going on there as well with the 20 I'm sure it was the 25th that she went in um, the 25th of June that is so just to mention this, you know, um, I personally, with a couple of family members that are actually closely related, um, I kind of have an image, you know, the, the, the facial recognition for those two family members makes me think of George Michael and Madonna, okay, and they happen to be brother and sister. And that's all I really want to say about it, but it's just very interesting that, you know, I kind of have that kind of reference in my life. Um, obviously, George Michael, obviously that makes me think back to again, um, obviously with Back to the Future, obviously Marty, Michael J. Fox, and the father is George McFly, and of course McFly as well. And obviously, Back to the Future is a Christmas, you know, it's a rebirth um, film. It's obviously related to Christmas. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure that out. And um, what do I want? Let me show you something here. Uh, let's go to. McFly, I've got McFly in here, number 59. Okay, I was just showing you about that 5-9 jump in the previous video um, with the Doc Brown thing. And I, I want to mention just one other thing with that, actually, because I forgot to mention it in that video. So why not bung it in this video? Um, because that clock, I, I'll go to it in just a second. Let me finish my, my thoughts with McFly. Check out McFly. Okay, here's our 133 at the start of McFly. The sixth column, obviously, that 133 is in the sixth column. And then 1225, the last two numbers. So when we just look at the individual um, letters of McFly and then look at the individual numbers for those letters, 
we've got Christmas actually referenced twice because this 133 with this with the sixth column is actually a, a sort of a Christmas reference um, with regards to a couple of decodes that I've done involving 911 and 814 as well so I mean it's definitely a Christmas reference for me anyway so as you can see last Christmas um, and I should say it's the, the channel to go to, there was some good comments on we I'm, I think it was we seek we find and he also had some good number jumps on there as well I think um, so very interesting obviously connecting back in with the um, five nine there just with through George and the name Michael you know and that link to back to the future but while I'm here I just want to throw something in there um, back with this with this thing again with the with the clock where uh, face when they take the picture on five nine okay and it changes from uh, eight eight to what I said was could be a five nine or a five ten I forgot to mention the actual you see right there it does look like um, it, it looks more like a nine um, but again when you get to this point it almost looks like it's it's moved on a little bit more I don't know if it's just way the lights shining on it or whatever but anyway I said it could possibly be a, an 810 and there is another number jump that I met, had meant to show you um, and I'll do it right now where is it and that is from September the 11th 2001 if we were to take that 810 okay and use it as an 81 along with the 88 that's also referenced there if we do an 8188 day jump again we're back at <laughs> February 11th 2024 okay so again I I'm not sure the way to look at that clock right now but it's just interesting that you can get that answer again you can get the February 11th answer again so I'm gonna leave it there for that I just thought it was interesting the last Christmas thing um, I I think probably the film of the same name might be worth going and actually watching I think there might be a several more references in that film for sure uh, but yeah 105 days um, takes you from 9-11 to Christmas so very interesting all right thanks for watching bye bye